Today on Airman Vision, we asked newer airmen what was the hardest part of BMT. Also, if you're a new airman and you want to get involved with videos like this, use the contact information in the description below. So working with other people, working with uh, younger people, working with older people, working with people that have no work experience, working with people that have all kinds of different backgrounds and they come from all parts of the world and walks of lives. It was really hard to work with some of the people that were put in your flight. And especially if you got any roles where you were trying to help out, like dorm chief, element leaders, laundry crew, whatever your position was, you know that teamwork and working with others definitely was one of the hardest things about BMT. It's not being able to decompress or really have a minute by myself. Uh, I was always one of those people, I can go and be around people all day, but I need like an hour to just not be around people and just, yeah, decompress, kind of let loose. And then I can go back to it. Not having a single second to do that definitely got to me at times and at times made me feel like I was going a little bit crazy. It was probably the first like getting there and getting used to waking up early and getting, dre getting dressed really fast. That's what it was. I had to get dressed really, really quick. There was no time for like delays. You need to be dressed in like five minutes at most. Be sweet. Be sweet and specifically the obstacle course. It really was physically hard. Mentally, you could say, oh yeah, this is, you could do it, but it's so mentally hard. The hardest part about basic training was missing home and not having music. I haven't gone to college, so that was my first time really away from home. I just kept listening to music in my head, and I would just keep playing in my head, and it would just really make me homesick. Music would play in my head, and I would just well up in tears, because I just didn't want to be there. It was just so hard to be, be there. It was just so hard to be away from home for me. Like, I would just cry at random moments whenever I'd be like, I was on, I was on the latrine crew, so I would just be like wiping a shower and I'd be just crying during that or I'd be like sleeping and I'd just cry during my sleep. I just didn't want to be there. I was actually ready to throw in the towel, go to my MTI and say, take me home. I don't want to be here. But I stuck with it. And that's something you should know if you're a trainee and the delayed entry program is stick with it. Because guess what? You'll be so happy that you did it at the end of it. Chaplain Yates, he's a chaplain for the 331st Training Squadron, also known as the Wolf Pack, which is the best squadron in my opinion. He said, you won't like it here. You probably don't want to be here. But man, you will be so glad you did it. It's definitely uh, just getting along with people on a uh, daily basis. Uh, you have 50 people from across the country coming into BMT, and you have to try and coincide with everybody. Everybody has a different personality. I have my own personality. Not all personalities are going to clash, so. Getting along with uh, all the other people across the United States, but also helping people that you're not normally used to helping because some people are better at rolling shirts than others or doing hospital corners in your bed. So it's definitely a challenge of working together with people that say might not agree with things, but you gotta push that to the side and push forward and get the job done on time. Otherwise you're all getting in trouble for say one person or two people that didn't want to help each other because of their disagreement. So then you're all getting yelled at, you all are doing squat thrust or push ups while they're fixing it until it's perfect or however your MTI chooses to discipline you. Getting accustomed to those people from all over the world. So you yourself might be a squared away individual. That's great, right? But listen here, they don't care about that in basic military training. They're there to get you to work together with your wingmen to operate as a whole flight. They're focusing on you uh, building uh, leadership and also teamwork. Having to understand that people are different. You're gonna meet some dirt bags, all right? That's just, honestly, the military, not everyone's perfect, but do not get the idea that everyone's bad as well. It's just like any other job. There's a bell curve, there's people all the way at the bottom. There's people in the middle that are great, and there's some people on the other end as well. So don't stress it too much. But for me, yeah, just having to understand that maybe this person didn't have the, uh, experiences that I've had in high school, they didn't have the chance to get that leadership experience or really come from a good background. So you just have to learn to really be patient and understanding of that. Change in general, learning how to wake up at the same time every day, learning things you never thought you'd learn, such as, you know, um, how important marching was. That was one of the hardest parts about BMT marching everywhere. I feel like the hardest part about BMT was the first couple weeks where you're getting so much information at one time 
you're stressed out, um, you're missing your family, just not having the communication really is rough on you. Missing my wife um, and my family, you know, never being away from them for a super long amount of time, maybe just a week or two, uh, but then being away from them for two months, you know, no cell phone, no contact at all really, other than written letters. That can be tough for a lot of people, but like I said, you get used to it, you get through it, um, and having everybody else there with you definitely helps because you guys are all going through the same thing.